what's up guys, Laptop Nuts here and who is the champion today? The champion is HP Victus 15 series gaming laptop. So HP has introduced this uh, uh, version back in 2022 which is pretty recently and uh, as far as I can see it's very budget friendly gaming laptop so in particular I will be reviewing and as usually disassembling the uh, this model here it comes with a core i5 12 generation uh, it has 8 gigabyte of uh, DDR4 memory RAM uh, 512 uh, gigabyte of uh, storage and it has a GTX 1650 graphics card. However, uh, based on my research, um, there is a two options available. So you can go either the, the cheap and, cheapest version, which is this one with a 1650, or you can go up to RTX 3050. Uh, and also for the uh, the 13th generation Core i5 processor, you actually can go up to RTX 4050, which will give you plenty of uh, gaming, video editing, and you know so on and so forth. So uh, as far as I can see, the laptop is fairly lightweight. So it, it's it is about. Uh, five pounds, which is about uh, roughly 2.5 kilograms. Um, a very, uh, very friendly soft touch uh, keyboard. Uh, I would probably say they should have done a little bit uh, better job on the touchpad and make it a little bit um, wider uh, just because it's a gaming laptop. So in case you don't have external mouth, you can, you know, don't have any issues uh, using larger touchpad for like any gaming preferences. Um, a pretty uh, decent size, 15.6 uh, FHD, 144 Hz uh, LCD screen. Uh, it does have a, a 1080p uh, webcam. It does not have a privacy shutter, so I guess you would have to use old uh, Band-Aid in order to cover the uh, the camera, whoever likes to do so. HP claims that laptop has a pretty long life battery, so it can hold up to eight hours of uh, video playback, uh, which I think is pretty reasonable for a uh, modern laptop. And overall, I would say a uh, pretty, uh, pretty decent uh, laptop. And um, even today I was researching, so actually in fairly good condition, uh, use condition obviously, you can get the 12th generation laptop um, on the secondary market below 500 bucks, which I think is a very good deal for gaming laptop. Uh, so as usual, let's take the uh, the bottom case out to see what's going on inside. Let's see what we can upgrade, uh, what we can repair, and how we can repair it, and how difficult it's going to be uh, to repair it. So stay tuned. Let's go. All right, let's dip in a little bit into technical parts. So on the left side, the laptop has a DC jack. USB port and audio port along with a SD card. On the right side you have a Type-C port, VLAN port, USB and full HDMI port. And now let's take this baby apart. As usual we're gonna be starting from the bottom case and remove all necessary screws. In this case it's very upgrade friendly laptop because it only has uh, about seven Phillips screws. Uh, there is no hidden screws involved and now I will be using my pry tool and just uh, uh, will simply detach the bottom case from the palm rest. So uh, as you can see I'm working my way out. I'm also using my fingers to help me uh, lift the bottom case from both sides. It looks like it got stuck a little bit on the back side here and uh, with a slight help with my fingers I, I was able to release the bottom case. So here it is. The battery can be easily replaced by removing few screws here and disconnecting from the motherboard. And now we go to the left side of the laptop where you can see the DC jack, USB audio port and SD card reader. So it's a separate daughter board which can be replaced. Uh, Wi-Fi card and SSD are replaceable and upgradable as well. Only one screw can be pulled and uh, uh, replaced. There are two slots of DDR4 memory RAM so you can add additional or you can install the larger size for better performance. There are two speakers and a fairly large uh, he heating sink with a cooling fan. Peace!